All right, welcome back, guys. So in general, the game modes are done fairly well. The one that needs the most work, in my opinion, is Supply Raid. And that's just because you don't get enough points for killing people, which is the main point of the mode. And it's not objective-based like interrogation, and you can get way more points there. And also, survivors, you can get so many points if the rounds continue going. So in like in supply raid, I've gotten 15 plus kills in a match, like 18, 19, and I haven't even broken 5,000 parts for the match. Like it, it doesn't make any sense. There's only 24 reinforcements, and I get, I get like 15 plus downs in a match, and I don't even break 5,000 parts, which which isn't a lot for growing your clan and stuff like that. Like you have to boost the parts for. You have to boost the parts for it. And there's a few ways you can do that. You can add, like, first blood bonus, getting the first kill in the game. Man, I sound like such a COD noob saying that. I hate Call of Duty, though, just just to throw it out there. But you could add in first blood bonus, and also when you get to three kills, let's say you kill your third person in a row without dying, you could, uh, you could start a kill streak bonus that gives you 25% more parts for a kill from that point on, going up to, like say 150 or 200 percent if you're on a, a huge kill streak something along those lines because this mode is based 100 percent on killing the enemy and taking down their their reinforcements and you just simply don't get enough parts for it you could have a kdr bonus as well to some degree if someone really does well as a final note on interrogation there was just your last main update not the pro one but way before that when you added in the spawning for interrogation it really broke the game so essentially you guys had it so if the one team was base raping the other team and the game sensed that they were in all quarters of their spawn it would spawn you across the map on the other side on the other team's base in the other team's base and that's that's really broken the game because i've lost matches because it put me on that side when we could have all ran in and stopped them from getting the save People, there have been matches where we're winning and they put them over there and then they gang, they ganged up on the one guy defending and then they won the game because they rushed over there or something along those lines. It's broken the mode, so you need to fix the spawning for interrogation. That, that needs to be taken out because it broke the mode in a lot of ways. Alright guys, so now let's start off with new modes that can be added into The Last of Us Part 2 multiplayer. So... Obviously, this is a given that you guys have to get in there. It's survival co-op mode with infected. You've got thousands of people requesting this. You guys have tested it in your in your uh, PS3 multiplayer, uh, and the PS3 couldn't handle the overhead calculations. That's understandable. But now you have no excuses. You have to go put this in. One thing I didn't really think of for the longest time is how many players you could have in it. I always assume four, but who knows, if you could have more than four, that'd be pretty cool to have like a whole bunch of your friends in with you at once. But do this right, get this in there. Okay, this is another mode that I thought of a long time ago. I think it was maybe even on PS3. Another infected mode that I think would be awesome for number two. And it's based around the game Manhunt, and I don't know how many of you have played it, but probably some. It's like this childhood game. Heck, I would still play it today. <laughs> but it's like that. It's that game um, when you're growing up that you played. Go out to a friend's house, and it's like tag, but it's progressive. So like everyone runs out. One guy is it or whatever, and he would tag someone, and they would become it as well. And it would gradually be this whole force coming to get everybody. It's like um, it's like. A huge manhunt, basically. And the game is basically designed around that. It's called, like, Infected or something. Or Outbreak. And so, everyone... There'd be, like, eight players. I don't know. Uh, if you'd increase the player count, that would be cool for some things. But you could have a whole game, eight players, one person selected to be the it, and he, that person would be infected, basically. And so he would start off in the early stages of the infection as a runner or whatever the early stages as a runner and he would he'd be a fast melee character and his goal would be would be to infect the other players 
And as the time went by, there's a certain time limit that that if you're infected, you gradually um, get you advance to the next form of infected. So you'd go like a runner to eventually um, <clears throat> a clicker. And then eventually, if you were infected long enough, you turn into a bloater. And the game would be a survival game for the other players, and they try to last as long as they could. And it'd just be this this epic battle between players. Like, imagine being a bloater in, like, high school, and you're sitting back and you're throwing spores, like, to the back of the gym or on the other side into that back room by the library. Like, throwing spores, trying to infect the other players. Um... And like being a clicker and you get basically have unlimited senses because they can't see and you could see people walking and trying to get as close as you can to ambush them and bite them and infect them and scratch them and whatever and trying to spread this virus. And I think that'd be a really fun mode for number two. It'd be really cool though because you'd start off as a runner, you'd be really fast uh, and you'd have melee and you basically get to experience all aspects of the infected in an intense game mode. All right, so there needs to be more objective modes in number two. And the best one I can think of, like interrogation was is pretty much my favorite mode. I played that straight for years. But in terms of more objective based modes, the best one I can think of just as a, and it's super popular and it's super fun, capture the flag. This game should have a capture the flag mode, which is essentially capture the supplies each team has a base, and uh, I don't know, you could all, maybe you could select where your flag goes, that could be one aspect of it. But essentially they set their flags, which are in its supplies, uh, in safes or something like that. So you, every flag that spawns, you have to unlock it one notch, like an interrogation, in order to open it and get the flag. Just one notch. And then once you've got the flag or the supplies as they actually are, because that would fit the world really well. But once you had the flag, you would beep on the radar, kind of like Last Man Standing. And you obviously you try to get it back to your base and secure it. And you could give like, I don't know, 500 gears for the flag carrier capturing it and 250 for the team that secures it. Uh, and, you know, make it so each game has like a five flag or three flag limit if you had to. But I think that would be insanely fun, insanely intense too. I think that would fit the game. It would be a blast, like tracking the flag carrier uh, and shiving him and stuff like that, giving bonus points for killing the flag carrier, obviously. That'd be so fun. And then as another objective base mode, you could have zones or capture the hill, something along those lines. You guys have done it in Uncharted. I don't know if multiple zones would work, maybe just one would fit better with this game, but something along that would be cool too. Alright guys, that pretty much does it. If you enjoyed it, if you agreed with what I said, please go send it to Naughty Dog because there's no point in even making this stuff, really, if Naughty Dog doesn't see it. Uh, I'll have a comment in, the, in my comment section pinned so that I can put additions and stuff like that. Same as the first one. Uh, links for Naughty Dog are in the description. Thanks a lot guys. I'll see you in the next one